Howdy, howdy, and how do you do? Today's a big day, a massive day. It's our 600 subscribers special. I woke up this morning, I saw the big O600, and I just knew what we needed to do, and that is our special. And yes, we're not doing it on the highest cruise ball we have unlocked just because cruise ball 12. 15 less damage on bombs, 50 less damage, and then I have a Terra Ball. The Terra Ball from 11 is probably going to get in the way a little bit, so we'll just play with what we have currently. And as you can tell, I started off with the Electro Pagnet. I wonder why I could have started with the Electro Pagnet. I have a theory, but we will uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. Eh? Eh? It's because we also have Elector Pegnets, Elector Magnets, I should say. You know why? It's because all of you guys are like magnets bringing more people into our community and it is phenomenal. And not only just people, but high quality people, people with good intentions, good minds, smart a lot smarter than I so thank you so much for tuning in and letting me know everything that I'm doing wrong because that's the only way only possible way I will get better at this game believe it or not it is my only hope your only hope Anakin isn't that what they say or is it only hope Skywalk I don't, I don't know I'm sorry if I butchered that for you I do apologize we don't have a shop. We have a shop down here. And so I want to hit that shop because that shop is going to, um, I guess I can afford to upgrade at least one of them. That shop is going to give us the option for 30 gold to get rid of an orb. And that is where, uh, where our stone is gonna go. Since yes, we do have a stone. That stone's gonna get in the way, as you can tell, one of our mirror orbs. I do have three basic uh, Elector Magnets, and then I have three uh, mirror orbs. Oh, I threw the stone. I threw the stone. So we have them set up here because one of the Crucibles automatically gives you a... Uh, automatically gives you a stone so uh, there's no way to get rid of it um, 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 um let's go ahead and get the complex claw yeah that refresh is better so i will go with the refresh instead and unfortunately with that last ne navigation uh we didn't miss well i gotta throw a stone here because of our mirror orbs loving stones it appears then here we go pop off level one have we even thrown our level two yet look at this if we get the overhammer two we need 80 gold after this fight at least 80 gold can we do it we need nine more we need eight more one two four six eight so it is possible maybe we throw on this side I don't know why I threw on the side that I didn't even count on, but we got to 80. Now there's a reason why I wanted to be at 80 going into the shop. Well, granted, we're not going into the shop yet, but the reason we want to be at 80 is because to get rid of an orb, it costs 30 gold, but to buy a relic, it costs 50. So if we have 80, 80 minus 30 is 50 so then we can still buy a relic and I'm hoping we can find the overhammer here because the overhammer will be simply a marvelous okay electro pregnant electro magnets are so good matriarchs are very good as well but not quite good enough to take the heat of the kitchen i could just go this way if there's not a relic that i want we can hit the next shop over see i got options 
These are very good relics. But remove an orb, remove the stone. These are good relic options, but you know, I think the next shop's gonna be better. And I'm gonna hold the next shop to it. Perfect. I was I was afraid some way we're not gonna hit this shop. Uh, I guess ask me anything is technically better. It's gonna help with the shield since we don't have overflow since it didn't give us uh, over hammer. We're gonna take uh, ask me anything. Ask me anything. Deal full damage to enemies with resistances. So it's actually going to be pretty helpful for us, Decoy. I'm sorry I skipped through them so quick. Enemies don't get their extra turns. Your first reload. So that means once we reload, we usually whenever we reload, the enemy does two turns because they do, well, they do an extra turn while we're reloading because our turn is taken up from reloading. And so with this, they won't do anything. Uh, duplicate all orbs, duplicate a random orb. I guess I'd rather duplicate a random orb. Now we need to start saving up money for upgrades. Now that we have four Elector magnets going in here. So we need to get as much money as we possibly can. It's kind of more banking on that crit there, but... Okay, that did not go like as much as I thought it might. Okay, you're not performing that great here, Elector Ma Magnet. You are quite performing poorly in my eyes. Okay, okay. I take it back a little bit. Flex on us. Granted, that thing's gonna hit us, but you don't want them all. I do want to hit a bomb, if you don't mind. I do want to hit this bomb down here, if you don't mind. You're going the wrong way from the bomb. Uh, that is okay. You're not really strategically made to go for bombs, so you're strategically made to go for other things. Yeah, I threw it for that refresh. Boom. Got rid of the plant. That's all I needed. We pick up another one, but I think we'll rather upgrade. We'll spread the love. We don't need it to be too... Maybe I should have waited. I don't know. Ooh, look at all that gold right there. Boom, we got one of them. <laughs> Sometimes I can get a little too greedy with that gold, and it sends me the wrong do direction. Boom, all four are now level two. We're fighting the mole, should be fine. It doesn't matter which way we go. I did aim right, but it sent us left, so I, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Oh man, the holiday week is finally over. Well, I say finally, it is already over. All day, so today is Sunday. And so, all day yesterday, I thought yesterday was Sunday, so I was feeling good. I'm like, oh, I don't have to get up and work tomorrow. And now Sunday has finally come, and the realization that I can't, like, stay up late, sleep in, I sit in. And I love the feeling of days and weekends where you absolutely have nothing else to do, and you can just sit at home, play some games, or uh, watch TV, or just do whatever you want, because you don't have any, like... No one's expecting you to do anything. No one's asked you for help or anything. You got everything all taken care of for the weekend and you don't have to do anything. That is how this whole weekend has been and I have been loving it. Loving it so much. But, and a lot of people, once you retire, you have this feeling all the time and it's beautiful, but people often go back to work because the issue with it is it feels so good, but once you're doing it for a long time, the novelty of it kind of wears off a little bit, I think. So it's, I'm almost grateful that I am working during it so that, uh, 
I don't take it for granted. These days take them for granted. I kind of can sit there and enjoy them as best as I can. And then they come far and in between. So it's a little better off that uh, it works out this way. Because if I had this all the time, I wouldn't really know that it i mean i would know that it's nice and convenient but i think i'll get a little stir crazy just a little stir crazy why is that crit not moving or maybe it is moving just in horrible positions you could hit there we go we finally hit a crit granted we're not hitting any bombs but part of the course for us don't go straight down yes hit a bomb yeah we're not like we started off so strong here I think but then we kind of fell off I don't know if that's just my throwing ability here but I don't think there's much throwing skills necessary oh well we're gonna wipe the floor right oh except for one plant one plant will survive you lucky little plant everything else is gone so the trees even gone it's fantastic uh, we can upgrade we got the money for it upgrade um, grade you too and then we'll save it oh come on now Come on now, the gift that keeps on giving. All pegs have durability. We're going to skyrocket in damage. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be a-okay now. Which, it's up 600 subscribers, all 600. Attracting new, growing, getting bigger, getting better, getting more, I don't know, more, I don't know what I was gonna say, more something. You fill in the blanks in the comment section below or in our Discord. Uh, the link is in the description below. Fun fact, if you did not know, there is a Discord to us and that's where we get a lot of our fun day Friday ideas. That's where you can kind of come, talk, hang out, uh, share anything that's going on, talk computers, talk video games, what games you like, what you don't like, what you would recommend to other people. Or see what other people would recommend to you. I think we want to hit this shop. Or this shop. Or that elite. If we hit that elite, we won't get any shops. And I love shops. There was a challenge in Discord for a Fun Day Friday, I do believe. That was referring towards... Um, using no shops i think that was 64-bit doggo that did that i'm pretty sure talked about not using shops which i mean do we need the heels i don't think we need that i don't think we need it fun fact i don't believe we need it please don't go to this shop please don't go to this shop dang it we have enough for one relic. And I think I would prefer the short fuse here. I know we could have skipped, but we have two question marks. We might, we might get enough gold back for another relic at the next stop. This is our first second fight since uh, we got the gift that keeps on giving. As you can tell, all these orbs, I mean, all these pegs aren't disappearing in their first smack like they did uh, the prior turns. And that's what makes it so great. The fact that you're still alive with three health points is gross. So we're gonna have to hit a bomb here. Thank you. The fact that you're still alive and gonna hit me is kind of rude and uncalled for in the general sense of the term hitting another bomb would be beautiful for us doing over a thousand damage on just a basic fight is quite glorious i have to say you didn't hit that refresh there you go boom easy peasy we don't need to worry about healing necessarily we're at 37 gold if this is a fight we're in the 
oh, dang it. It's not a fight. But we can buy an orb or buy something we can remove. What a great shop. All three of these relics are delicious. And I don't care about an orb. I don't know how often. I would be kind of curious to see how often people actually buy orbs out of the shop. I could probably see me myself buying like a Matri Orbsco or a Electorb like Magnet out of the shop. But other than that, I don't know if I'd ever buy anything out of the shop. Round Guard or Suffer the Sling. Suffer the Sling stones get plus one, plus two. Very good for Crucibles. Very bad for our run here. Round Guard is probably best protected while reloading. We want to hit that one. Question mark and an elite is what we want. If we had enhanced gunpowder, enhanced gunpowder is one where bombs detonate all the pegs around it so it can detonate other bombs and it would be like a chain effect. And I think we want echo chamber, believe it or not. We're going to get this echo chamber beefy with our build here. I still can't, it baffles me that we're at 600 already. 600 uh, whenever i started this channel a few months back i thought i mean I, I thought it wasn't gonna get like the traction we've had and it's fantastic i can't thank you all enough for your interactions uh with the videos i think that's how they get pushed in the algorithm i'm not quite sure I don't know quite how videos get exposed to like get high impression rates. I th figured it's due to uh, impressions. And so that would be like comments, likes, watch time I think is probably part of it. I think, but I'm not sure. I just, I don't know. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'm still making the videos that I hope you all enjoy whether it's exposed to 10 people, exposed to zero people, exposed to 50,000 people. Either way, I'm going to continue to try to get better and better and more uh, appealing, I guess. More in line with what you would want out of a nice Peglin roguelike style channel. Maybe we can venture into other things. I don't know. It's up to you all mostly. So, I don't know. I know people have talked about uh, Binding of Isaac. And I've been thinking about it. I just don't have... It's more of like a... It's not like this. Where it's a... I think this is called a Rogue Light. Where each run is uniquely different than the last. Nothing carries over at all. You kind of just do a run. I guess we unlock crucible levels. So I guess it's not like one and done, but it's like this run has no impact on the next run. Binding of Isaac, don't you like do upgrades to yourself and each runs just a little bit easier and a little bit easier? I mean, I could be wrong, but I thought that's what I picked up on. I don't know. Those I am interested to play. I'm just afraid of having those because I don't know if those kind of playthroughs a lot of people like because I might post it one day and it might be part like five. And so someone wouldn't know, someone new to the channel wouldn't know where we're at and they would either have to go back and watch all four prior one hour videos before watching the newest one or they would just not watch it and more times than not they would probably want to watch it just because of that disconnect there and they kind of want to watch the video a video and then go on is kind of how it goes power glove i'm sorry i skipped power glove attacks gain plus one plus one so our attacks are going to be super duper strong we got a bunch of gold there, 134. Next shop we hit, we're gonna be filthy rich. But that is kind of my opinions on uh, Binding of Isaac. I think we will play it at some point, but it will be similar to our uh, Slay the Spire runs where I think Slay the Spire is not gonna have too many standalone days anymore. 
because I used to give him like one standalone day or something to for one video post for Slay the Spire, but Slay the Spire videos Slay the Spire is kind of an older game as it is, and there's so many great channels out there that play it a whole lot better than I play it. So if you want to watch like a mediocre play, play watch mine. Uh, or if you want to watch my learning process, watch it. Because uh, that's essentially what's happening during those videos is I'm just trying to learn. And each level is going to be harder. That is an awful throw. 29 damage carries over. You have 10 echo. It's only 10 echo. That echo chamber is kind of garbage, isn't it? I mean, 119 carries over, so I guess we're starting with 119 damage, but we're also producing 1500. Is 150 damage that make or break for like that much of a deal break? I mean, a uh, impact maker, I guess. What we're gonna start with? Oh, 100 damage here. No, we start with nothing since we reloaded. Fun fact, that's how that works. But that's kind of my thought process on those games. Brotato is kind of fun. But also, I don't think there's much of a viewership around it. Granted, I could be wrong. There's a lot of bigger channels that do have Brotato uh, going on in their worlds. I don't think I want any of those. This one's garbage. Constricting change constricts you to the point where you can't breathe at all. The four directions are awful. Uh, Imprentious. I'm sorry unpretentious oh my gosh i'm sorry let's try again unpretentious pendant all orbs plus two plus zero but boards contain one less crit we only have one crit on the board not worth it because then we won't have any crits on the board granted plus two as well we have level three it's not going to get any stronger than that so it would be a plus two plus zero plus two to six Seven, eight, eight to nine, eight still weaker than nine, so we still want the crits. Do you know what I mean? And then all orbs get plus zero, plus four, but board contains one less refresh. We do have an extra refresh due to our bandana, but do I want to get rid of that refresh for just four extra damage for crits when we only have one crit on the board? Probably not. And then Sapper Sack, all bombs are replaced with red and deal two times damage to enemies. I'm probably good on that as well. We don't really have a good survivability build here. We're kind of like a glass cannon. We kind of are there to put out damage and we're going to constantly be taking damage. So we don't have a way to regain any health prior lost health but also we throw an orb out and look how much damage it does that easy and it's over we're going to continue our journey probably try to throw it on the sides here and see if we can get yeah i'll probably land in the flames here but i wanted a few more gold bits i don't know why that didn't put me at 250 but we got over 200 so we can actually buy out this whole store if we wanted to. So we can buy Refillabuster. I don't think we're gonna reload too often. Is there another store? There's no other store. No, there's a store right here. So I think we'll save that one. Boom, and we'll probably exit. I don't think we need either one of those. I don't think we have so many orbs in our pockets. I don't really think we'll reload that often. Or reloading to help. Plus six health probably would have helped if we're reloading, but because usually whenever we're reloading, the fight's been going on for a long time. And if the fight goes on for a long time, we're losing some health. But we're probably going to be losing more than six health each time. So I don't know. I don't I just I don't feel like it's the best bet for us by any means. But that's just me. 
you know that moment whenever you beat a level and then you go to the next one you beat it very fairly easily and then you go back to that level and the level seems like a kinder kindergartner's game that's what cruise ball 11 kind of seems like now i struggled so hard on cruise ball 11 i mean not cruise ball 11 cruise ball 10 i struggled so hard on cruise ball 10 and then i finally beat it went to cruise ball 11 beat it first try which is essentially cruise ball 10 plus more and so i don't know i don't I, I made this spiel just so that I can brag a little bit that I beat Cruise Ball 11 first uh, try. Watch that video is our last video. It was actually pretty interesting, but I kind of nullified the happenings of Cruise Ball. What Cruise Ball? Uh, 10, 11. I nullified the Cruise Ball 11 because, spoiler alert, if you haven't done Cruise Ball 11, you get a new ball or new orb called the Terra Ball. And it, I guess, is supposed to be terrible. I like how you're not supposed to be attracted, like weak attractions to bombs, yet you took out the most red bombs on this map that I've uh, seen in a very long time. So I do appreciate you. With that, we have to heal, and I don't think, yeah, that will affect us in any way healing here, because we'll still buy three relics. Nice, and we got another piece of gold. Another little gold ing 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 ingot. Um, that's nice. Who's our final boss here? The QR code. Well, this is our last shop, so we kind of have to buy it out, right? Buy as much as we can. I guess we'll get both those. We'll get the reload stake. I guess we should have got it in the first place, but we'll just get it here. We need at least 20 gold now so that we can have post-battle healing. I think that's going to be our best bet in the healing sector of the world. Okay. You didn't have to go that hard here now. You're just doing 450, I mean 440 damage here. You understand that, right? You didn't have to go that hard. I mean, if you want to continue going that hard, I mean, I'm all for it, but you don't feel like you have to. Well, you're not doing what your friend did. The other one of you did so much better than you, but you're only doing three third 289. So, to be fair, you have an excuse. You don't have to do as much. And you go ahead and hit the red bombs. Hit a refresh on the way out. Might as well as flex a little bit. Now, the worst thing is, is we're losing a lot of health. And we're not really doing that much damage. You know what I mean? Like 800, yeah, that's a lot in general sense. But... In terms of not having much of a form of healing, that's not much. Now this is a little bit better, but it wasn't enough. Here we go. I think I'm worried about the QR code is where I'm worried. Oh, we got the cookie, so every time we hit a refresh, we're healing. That was a nice little spot to be stuck in. Uh, so we'll post battle healing since we don't have anything else going on with our lives whenever a crit is triggered deal orbs damage to all enemies bouncers contribute to damage uh, blind enemies with bombs uh, let's do the that one the little shiv isn't that a shiv criticris I don't know what that is it looks like a little knife like a gold knife there's the handle and then there's the blade I think. Isn't there a fancy way to say uh, a blade's handle? What is it called? I don't I, I sit here and think about it like I would be able to recall it that easily. My recall is not that easily. My recall of information, the series of events my brain takes is completely forget about it. Wait till it's not even needed anymore. Not even worth mentioning anymore and then think about it that's how my brain works 
so maybe later this evening whenever I'm not recording or anything then I'll think of what it's called and that's usually the way the cookie crumbles and nothing I can do about it now massive we'll probably take the heels keep moving on we're actually netting a loss here for I think do we want to fight the elite for extra do elite fights give you better relics than these chests do these chests just give you common relics elite fights give you uncommon well enhanced gunpowder is not really a common relic I don't think but yeah, I could have grabbed Enhanced Gunpowder. I love Enhanced Gunpowder. That's the relic I was talking about where a triggered bomb triggers the pegs around it. And it could be a chain effect with other bombs, which is very nice. But I think I'd rather have an extra crit. Ooh, here's another elite. A forest boss appears. I love fighting this boss with these... Uh, orbs electro magnets because they just swimmingly go across the bottom here it's just delicious simply delicious Ooh, what do we got here crits refresh board when you lose health deal two times that amount of damage to all enemies which is very nice but i think crits also refreshing the board would be a little more ideal for us going in the future since uh we heal with refreshing and so if we have more refreshes more chances to heal i really did not want to fight this boss again to be completely honest with you doesn't really excite me like chains and whips okay i'm gonna try not to say that joke more i think i say it almost every recording because i talk about things that excite me and then that song comes on Oh, unfortunate. Oh, yes, bomb. Yes. Worked out in our favor. Okay. You need to do 1,500 damage. I don't know if you're going to make that happen. You did not make it happen, so we're going to take a little bit of damage. Unless the blind worked on him, but it decided not to work. Don't hit the red bombs. You don't. There's no need to hit a red bomb. No need. Thank you. There is no need for that in here. I mean, yeah, I could save my money for what? Maybe that being a shop. So I guess we'll continue on, save our money. Uh, I think I want peg bag. Even more refreshes. Refreshes on refreshes on refreshes. We're gonna, we might even crush our goal on a subscriber getting to a thousand by March, early March, late February. I think we might have a chance. What, that's like four months out? We got 600 in one month? Uh, we got two 600 from 500 in one month. And so if we average 100 subscribers a month, we're good. Now, averaging 100 is quite difficult. I think currently we are averaging 88 subscribers every 28 days. So, current pace, I don't think we'll hit it, but maybe with this new Peglin update, maybe I will get a little better with thumbnails, I guess, to get a little more traction. Or maybe people just be like a lot of you that I've seen in the comment section where it's like I've never played Peglin but I thought I should give it a try and uh, you're awesome and to that I say no you you are awesome for coming in and taking the time to let me know that it actually means so much whenever people give me those affirmations because it lets me know that sometimes I worry that a video might not land well or anything and then it just means so much whenever people talk highly of the content that we produce and um, where we're at with it because the, especially the people that say I thought you had would have like 20,000 subscribers yeah that makes me feel good because that makes me feel like I'm producing quality content but 
uh, please let me know if that's what you think and please let me know if that's not what you think and what I should do differently because I would love to know see if it's in my skill set to change and make it better because I am quite limited I am still learning video editing stuff a little slow at it just I don't have the time for it necessarily to do a lot of unique things I see a lot of big channels that do all kinds of like zoom in things whenever things are mentioned little uh, memes pop up every once in a while and stuff like that which would be pretty cool I have to say I just don't have the capacity for it which I, I'm sure some of those big channels just have a uh, editor on staff or something or just or maybe they just love editing which I don't know I think I would enjoy editing but I also would like to hit a crit here not hitting not hitting a crits not the end of the world here don't worry it's not the end of the world it's just slightly closer to the end we're not doing much damage here because we need to hit our crits and our hit crits are hiding so well Oh, well, that's gross. Okay. Come on, crit. Oh. I felt something on my lip, and as I was talking before I could get it off, it was it went in my mouth as I was talking, and it was a hair. I presume it was one of my hairs. It was kind of uh, shorter. Not like a little short hair, but like a inch and a half, two inch hair. Probably a hair from the top of my head. Maybe I'm just going bald. Ooh. Which I I theorize I would probably go bald. Because what is it? One of three men experience some form of hair loss, right? And you know, I like to say I could be an outlier sometimes whenever it's in things that most people wouldn't want. And I would have to say, uh, that would probably be something I'd be an outlier in. Be that, be that three, be that one of three for it. Come on, take someone out here. Hit a lot of refreshes so we can heal. You taking someone out? No. Poop. Well, we lost. What? Thank you so much for tuning in. 600 subscribers, that's big. Pop some champagne, pop some bubbly, pop some water, whatever you're drinking. Pop it, or soda, if you like pop. Pop and soda, that's another thing I probably could have gotten in a rabbit hole with just now, now that I said it, but the video is over. So thank you so much. Consider liking, subscribing, commenting down below what you like, what you don't like. Uh, and I look forward to talking with you all later. Bye.